I mean, I don't know how, um, I don't know how artists learn. <laughs> sense that it feels to me like you know we have we have you know everything that you and you experience in your life you know gives you a little teaspoon of something and then that all just kind of builds into something and I mean when I, I remember when I was younger kind of getting started and I'd see artists like I don't know, famous artists that, that had a specific style and you would see that and just by seeing that style you could say well that's so-and-so's work and I used to be kind of jealous of that. <laughs> because it felt like, to me, I was like, I was doing a little sculpture, I was doing little you know, metal sculpture, wood sculpture, painting, drawing, and I was like, God, I don't have any kind of, nothing of this, none of this is kind of coming to a head. And you kind of think that at the time, but then if you kind of just keep pushing it and doing it and not thinking it overly, um, it'll, uh, it just sort of comes together. And, and then I, and then I kind of, developed this sort of style and I liked it and I just kept rolling with it. And I think if you do what you like in, in art or anything, I guess, you know, you just, you like it so you want to do it more. And when you do it more, you get better at it. And, uh, and I can look at paintings I did 10 years ago or 15 years ago or 20 years ago and I think, God, I wouldn't even show that painting now, you know, because I think I've gotten that much better or more uh, sensitive to what it is I'm trying to you know, effect, I guess. to uh, art school at VCU. It's easy to breathe. Um, I, I, I studied graphic design and uh, I became a uh, graphic artist and I still do a little bit of that uh, on the side. Um, and the painting kind of started because I was getting kind of bored with the, with the graphic design stuff. It was just kind of, um, I don't know, I think I'm, a, sometimes I think I'm a bit of a control freak, so I like to be able to do what I want to do. When you're a graphic designer, you got to do what they tell you to do. Um, so it, the painting kind of got born out of, out of that dissatisfaction with the graphic design business. But I, you know, I did graphic design for, gosh, time for about 25 years um, and, and I still do a little bit of that 
a um, little bit of magazine design. I've done some book design, stuff like that. I'd rather be painting. <laughs> it's more fun. I first started painting on metal in general um, about 30, 30 years. Um, it's gone by fast. Um, and uh, it's, almost, it's almost exclusively been copper. I used to do like tin and real rusty metal and stuff like that. Um, but it's almost exclusively been copper over the last few years. Um, primarily because I trust it a little more as far as its longevity. You know, rusty metal, they say rusty metal never stops rusting, uh, whereas copper never rusts. So, plus it's more, more, more easier to work with. Um, it uh, bends so much easier. You know, I describe it as kind of like buttery. You know, it just bends so nicely. And this process has kind of evolved over time. Um, when I first started doing the metal stuff, I was building frames and then I would just take a piece of tin or whatever and I'd just tack it right on there and I never wrapped it. And, uh, and I started showing these paintings in Richmond and the dealer I was working with, she said, you know, the, the ones where you take the metal and wrap it around, you know, and just fold it around the frames are the really popular ones and the other ones not so much. Well, I stopped doing the other ones after that. I was like, well, all right, <laughs> I'll start just doing that exclusively. And it, so it's kind of evolved over time. I've gotten much quicker at it. You know, it used to be, you know, kind of a little cumbersome to do. Um, but I think it's like anything, you know, you do something a thousand times and you get <laughs> pretty quick and you kind of are able to weed out the things that you don't like about it. I usually put these nail sides down. tabs for the way it wraps.
I used to <clears throat> hold these with my fingers after hitting my fingers so many times I came up with a better, better uh, approach. You do a show and uh, you have, you know, when you have more than one person that wants to buy a particular painting, you know, automatically the dealer, the dealer will say, you know, hey, let's do another one for so-and-so. <laughs> he wants one or she wants one. Or, um, and so, you know, like, okay, you do that. And, uh, you know, I mean, I've had paintings that I've done, you know, 25, 30 times, <laughs> you know, because people want one. Um, you know, and like I say, it's, it's satisfying as far as making a living. Uh, it just kind of tamps down, um, you know, the time to kind of think about, you know, approaching something brand new, you know. Anyway, that's how I build one of these. I mean, I usually kind of describe it as being um, just trying to be open-minded at all times wherever I go and just, you know, if I see something and be like, huh, just kind of, a, you know, I, I, I describe it as kind of like having an open window and letting the bird fly in, you know, and just kind of, you know, if the window's closed, the idea might not come in. So I just, you know, wander around and just keep keep my antenna going and see if there's something that'll pop up and uh, and that kind of fits into my um, artistic um, sensibility, I guess. You know, it's like that. You know, just remaining um, totally open to anything that, that might come along that might even surprise me. That's even the best part. It's like if you could get something that you probably wouldn't have thought of ever to just show up and there it is, you know, and then, then off you go. And then that's when the, the fun starts. <laughs>